what'd you say back? Um, I said you are a turkey. Oh, okay, Wait, we gotta work on that. Said... Sweetie, please don't say anything nasty. Well, let me tell you. No, sweetie, just don't. When I'm with you, how can us lose and miss the moment? You just do it for it. Nobody, nobody like you. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to Nick November. Um, today is Monday. Chris and I are actually about to head out to LA. Not like right, right now, but in a few hours, we have a flight to LA because I have my OBGYN appointment. Chris has to get a little bit of work done. We're only staying today. It's a super duper duper, duper duper short trip. So yeah, I do want to clear up one rumor because apparently my face is fat. And apparently a fat face means um, I'm pregnant. I am currently 180 pounds. I'm real authentic. I, I feel like I share everything with you guys. I openly talk about my struggles with PCOS. And because of that, I am now on birth control. And with that birth control, I gained some weight, baby. This is the heaviest I've been without being pregnant. I have irregular periods and all that crazy stuff. Um, everything that comes with PCOS, all the symptoms that come with it, I struggle with them. So because of that, I've had to get on birth control. And because of that birth control, a side effect is usually weight gain. But I've been working on managing my weight and I'm actually down because with my birth control, I actually got up to 188 pounds. But then I switched and yeah, now I'm at 180. So I'm gonna clear up the rumors once and for all. I'm tired of y'all. I'm not pregnant. Stop saying I'm pregnant. Don't wish that on me, okay? It, it's given weight gain, but it ain't never given pregnant. It's given a year out of a tummy tuck because I've officially reached a year for my tummy tuck. Um, this set is from Skins, by the way. Um, but yeah. All bets on my uterus are off. Anywho, um, we're packing. Now, ugh, again, this trip is so last minute. Oh my gosh, it looks off to me. Okay, I would rather it be like this, like natural light. Okay, so I'm packing, right? And, and let me just tell y'all, because again, this trip is last minute, we need to get there and get back. Um, we decided to fly Spirit going. I only bought a one way because I've heard horror stories with flying spirit. I literally look like Seely. Hold on, because I'm going to take my little braids down. My, these were my wig braids from this weekend. But anyway, so we're flying spirit. It's a direct flight, which I love. I love direct flights. But I've heard really bad horror stories with spirit. Yeah, I'm going to bring y'all along with me. Let's see if we make it. <laughs> but wait a minute. I wanted to show you guys what I packed because again because it's such a quick trip I did not plan on bringing a lot of things I hope it's not picking up the sound from our cameras set from fancy homebody my dad adidas dash sneakers yeah my suitcase is basically packed the only thing is I paid for bags online I paid for a carry-on bag but I don't know what they would consider carry-on because I hear that you pay for breathing on spirit. So I don't know. However, I plan to take this bag as well. And I got this bag because my toiletries. Now in my toiletries, I have all my essentials, all my skincare, butt wipes, um, floss. Yeah, everything we need. All my skincare, all my body care is in here. Um, I, wait, I do need to put my iron pills in here and my vitamin D pills. And then this is my makeup bag. Again, because we're going just for one day. This is all that I'm bringing. And this is so ghetto, but I don't like my makeup touching my brushes. So I just put my main brushes that I'm going to use in a Ziploc bag. I didn't have a smaller brush bag. And I got like Lysol wipes, Lysol, I mean not Lysol wipes, Clorox wipes, Lysol, and I was gonna go get a sandwich, okay? 
so that's that but i was saying because i paid for a carry-on size i could possibly just put all this stuff in my carry-on i paid for one for me and one for chris um and for yeah that's all i packed for our trip back i'm probably just gonna wear like a workout set um because it's just it's just easy that's all let's get ready for the airport first i gotta take my hair down and put it in a, a like a back bun because that's all i really know how to do and then i have to shower and uh yeah just get ready the kids do not have school tomorrow which is why i was like let me just sneak off go get my yearly exam although i'm a month behind usually i go every october um but you know life happens so i'm a month behind but it's so important to get our women's exams and this is my de labor and delivery doctor as well because dr badaria delivered ira and after i found her i just fell in love with her so 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 much that i was like yeah i i don't i have not been able to find another one here that i really really like and that actually cares for my needs you know so once you come up on a good doctor you keep them and so i've kept her and i just travel back when i need to you know for a while we lived in la so it made sense for me to have a doctor there but once we moved away it was just still easy for me to just go back every now and again oh my god will my hair even fit in a bun i washed it last week and i've just been wearing it in braids but let's see if we can tame it just a little bit what are you doing why are you sneaking around power seat i heard some footsteps and it's power Power, please it. Oh, my hair is so soft. There's nothing in my hair but oil and leave-in conditioner. So I had, after I washed it, I didn't condition it. Um, I just actually used this for the first time and I don't know how I feel about it, um, but it's the K18 Leave-In Molecule Repair Hair Mask. So it's not even conditioner, I guess it's a hair mask, but it has the hair super duper soft. The hair, what is this called? This is um, Style and Wax Ultra Hold, the gummy one. This is what I like to use for my slick back looks for any time I'm wearing a bun. Um, edge control. I could not find the word, I'm like, what is this called? But I really, really love this stuff. And, and I think it helps my hair, um, hold pretty decent and it doesn't turn white now i'm gonna put a generous amount because i don't plan on doing my hair again but i heard that you're supposed to put water wet your hair first and then attempt to lay it down i don't know how true that is but because i'll be washing my hair again this week all will be well look at how slick can y'all see that yeah she gets me really really slick don't now go take my power, my power. Get out of Idol's room. Sit your butt down. Sit. Cool boy, Tinky. Four hours later, we're in the car headed to the airport running late. So we'll see you when we get there. I busted my tail to get done because she wanted to leave at 1.30. What time is it, by the way, babe? What time you got? Uh, 2 2.01. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what time do we board? <laughs> I don't know. 
Is it just a woman thing? Time. I don't understand because, you know, I really bust my tail. Uh, this is our first time going uh, spirit. So we'll see because we hear that sometimes they close, the gates close early. It's just been a whole bunch of horror stories, but Ooh, I'm nervous. I mostly hear turbulent stories and tur turbulence terrifies me. Even though I'm not afraid of rides or heights, but just, yeah. We'll see y'all in LA. Well, the rides are actually supposed to be bouncy. Planes aren't supposed to, that's a big difference. But the way Vicky described it is turbulence are like bumps in the road. Yeah. But it's like, all right, that's a bump. But like a whole lot of those consistently? Yeah, I don't get it. Don't go in that lane. Oh, well, really? his, yeah, his truck, you're gonna have to go in that lane. Go, 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 make that light. Well, I'm gonna make it whether it is green or not. I'm going. In my car? Fuck me, yeah. <laughs> we'll see y'all in LA. <laughs> I thought you said you drive my car a lot careful. I did until now. Until we're in a hurry. It is because, sweetie, you push on brakes at unnecessary times. Like to turn the corner, you almost completely stop. And, uh, you, but you then, know, when I'm pulling down your pants, you, you turn it off. Sweetie, bye. Because <laughs> what? We made it. First spirit flight ever, and we made it. I was a little bit skeptical, skeptical because. When we first walked on and gave the gate agent our tickets, she was like, you guys do realize you're sitting in the emergency exit rows. I pay extra for that. And, and we were like, yeah. And she was like, you're willing and able to assist. We say, yeah. And she said, although we don't have any emergencies ever. We've never had an emergency. Oh, yeah. We've never had an emergency ever with a big smile. And like, we was like. Have to say that. And then I was walking down the jet bridge. There was so much trash and dirt. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> it, was a, it was an empty flight. We had plenty it was of pretty empty. We, we did have someone sitting next to us, but our leg room was like amazing. It was so amazing, the leg room. So I felt like that was worth the extra money to pay for the upgraded seats. Um, and the flight wasn't bad. We had no turbulence. It wasn't a full flight. The flight attendants were nice. You just pay to breathe, yeah, you know? No, we, you pay for water, but we already had our water. We had a made I paid, sandwich. I paid $4 for a Sprite. Five. It was Five, four, well, it was four four ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. I was like, a can of Sprite. One small can. I said, oh, baby, I would be drinking Not my spit liter. and acting like it's sugar. Because <laughs> ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm paying no $5 for a Sprite. I don't care how rich I am. Mm-mm. Chris, when you said you want one, I said, mm-mm, I'm gonna drink this spit and pretend like it's sugar in it. But the uh, exit row was really roomy. It was, the exit row was roomy. Um, we, yeah, we had no turbulence. And it, um, it didn't seem four hours, did it to you? No, I felt all four of those hours. Cause only because it was so cold, it was so cold. And even our flight attendant, she came back and was like, are you guys freezing? And we were like, yeah. She even changed the temperature. They were being super nice. But I like how they, they, and she they was doing jokes and stuff. They take the prime spots for their luggage. Yeah, they did. And they the stopped. flight attendants. <laughs> did you see where they were? The one flight attendant in the back was laid out when I went to the bathroom. And the other one uh, brought his meal out. Did you see him? Yeah, in front of he us? sat in front of us and just started eating. I said... <laughs> Delta would never. <laughs> Southwest that would never. Funny. Southwest be lenient, yeah, but they don't. Ne they're never like that way, and they don't sit with the customers. Do you notice how the flight attendants right. sit in the customer seat? I was like, not only that, they took our overhead bin space above our seats. The flight attendant luggages was above our seats. I was like, yeah, we paid good money for that space. <laughs> But yeah, we really try not to complain. We're really easy going when it comes to travel. Um, the hotel we are staying at is called the Hyatt House. Wait, what is this called, sweetie? The Hyatt, Hyatt House, House Century Boulevard. 
But the guy called it the H Hotel. I don't know what it's called, but it was really, it's really nice. Let me show y'all really quick. So you walk in here and I was like, oh, we're at the end of the hallway. We're always at the end of the hallways anytime. I don't know why they always get us at the end of the hallway, but that's me. You walk in, we got a little mini kitchen. And then we have a dining area. I'm sure that lets out into a bed or something, right? And then we have our bedroom and then this nice tub and shower toilet and the bathroom is pretty decent i really really like it i would stay here again um downstairs they were really nice and welcoming but yeah we're about to go grab something to eat we're thinking to go to the steakhouse the only thing is this steakhouse is three minute drive eight minute walk i didn't bring my walking shoes because i didn't plan on walking we didn't rent a car but we're probably gonna have to get a rental car I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're about to go ahead and go eat. So let's go eat. Oh, that's good. Steamy. We looked like yesterday because <laughs> we just threw on our clothes. We just threw on our clothes to come down to get breakfast. Um, it's seven o'clock here, so it's ten in in um, Louisville. And because of that, my sleep is so off. I've been up since three this morning. So I'm so used to waking up at six in the morning. But we're about to go grab breakfast. Yeah, looking like yesterday. <laughs> Okay, so we're waiting on our Uber headed to my doctor's office. So I put on this shirt purposely from yesterday because I didn't want to get my white shirt dirty. You know, they gotta make you take your shirt off, your clothes off multiple times and I don't want to dirty up my white shirt with my makeup. So I had my white shirt in my bag. This is my white shirt. And then I'll change once I'm done with my appointment. The sacrifices we make to look cute, but I already got makeup on it. Like here, down here. Why not even show y'all my outfit? Cause I'm kind of cute today. Casual and cute. Chris look cute too. <laughs> what did you do? Oh. <laughs> so our Uber is six minutes away and I called and moved my appointment up. I mean, I called and moved my appointment down to nine o'clock, but I'm still gonna be late. So much traffic here. I'll let you know when we get to the doctor's office. Nice car. It's a little Uber shortage now. So. There is. It is? Yeah. Sometimes. sometimes. No wonder really it took shortage. so long. It, just to find a ride, it took 14 minutes for them oh to request. Yeah. I was in a uh, car rental place. I saw your call. I was like, oh, it's going to take some time to get there. <laughs> How's your day going? Yeah, how's you guys? Pretty good. We just got in last night. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's a lot of traffic in LA. Yeah. It's, it's normal. Yeah, always. You need AC, open air, whatever you like. You tell me. You can oh. Oh, yeah. the it feels good with the windows down. Yeah, we're okay. fine. Put a little down. I 
Do I pay anything? Okay. Do you guys take American Express? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are done at the Zonza. American Express know they need an answer because why they decline my card? <laughs> I think because I, we haven't called to let them know we're in another state sometimes they'll lock the cards my boo bae my sis is about to come get me chris had to leave i don't even know if i showed you guys but chris had to head to burbank he couldn't stay long but i see dr shushma Bakdaria, and she is the one who delivered ira and i see her yearly i hate when people watch me vlog <laughs> i literally cringe when people watch me vlog Okay, hold on, let me get situated, because I got so much shit in my hands. I used to care what people thought, but now I care more, and nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending, depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect, we spend it. With no shame, we blow that. Like old train, we in here. Like old game, we leave it. Like old bang. And when I'm long gone, whole crew singing swan song. Cause we all just ticking time bombs. Got a Lambo like LeBron's mom. And no matter where all of my friends go, Emily, Fem, and Lorenzo. All of the people my camp go. At least I think so. <laughs> what, first of all, what I gotta do? What is that move right there? <laughs> what is that? What do Wait. I gotta do? Wait. This huh. is do I just swing? Move. Let me see if I can do it. This ain't for the week. What? Sis, before we get on the pole, you know we on the floor doing abs for 30 minutes? A whole workout. It's not just literally planks, burpees. Bitch, we doing all this shit before we get up. You gotta warm your fucking body up, bitch. Red, but he spank me when I get back. I'm in LA, Vontale Drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm a Barbie girl. Pink Barbie dream house. The way can be killing shit. I'm yelling out like a scream house. Y yelling out, we ain't selling out. We got money, but we ain't lending out. We got bars, but we ain't billing out. In that pink Ferrari, we pillin' out. So tape, bring the vibe, billing out. The group's so cold, we just chillin' out. Baby, yelling, 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 yeah, yelling out. It's, it's Barbie, bitch, if you still in doubt. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a 10. Like, grab these stays, we keep out. I'm watching this bitch 
Cause I'm up in the scene now Like I'm ready to bend All the fake bobbies just wanna pretend Like you won't let me go find me a pen Cause we're in life Now I'm up to the test Ooh, Bobby bitch with her Bobby click I keep dragging her so she bold a bit And I see the bread, I want all of it Good morning guys It's Wednesday No, I don't wanna have to keep peeing I use it to take my pills I wanna take mine Yeah uh, we're headed back to the airport. I didn't show y'all my fit yesterday. I was so horrible at vlogging yesterday, but. And you should have vlogged your uh, pole. pole. I did, with my clothes on, of course. I had to get out of those pants though. Um, but I'm so sore because of that pole. Me and Courtney spent four and a half hours just dancing on the pole. Not like my her. pole. This, this pole that, at our friend's house. Anyways, four and a half hours, we was just dancing on the pole while Chris was working. And then we all went out to eat at um, Soul's Mex Mexican restaurant. Um, and it, Soul's is like three minutes from our airport, um, from our hotel, not from our airport, but we're about to head to the airport. Our flight boards at 5.35, I believe. And it's four o'clock. Thankfully, we get TSA pre-check. Now, I'm going back, y'all. Not going to even hold you. We're taking Southwest going back. It will not be direct, but we're getting in early. And I want to get in early because I want to get the kids from school. So, yeah. But that direct on that spirit might have to run that one back. It was, it was really nice. I did try to look up directs going back. And... There was nothing um, that was worth buying. Because, man, the Spirit flights was actually coming out to the same price as our Southwest flight. So, I'm like, we might as well ride Southwest. I don't know if you guys know, but I fly free with Southwest. we about to dip out. This hotel was amazing. I will stay here again. I really loved it. The yeah. Hyatt House on Century Boulevard. Highly LAX. recommend. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. But... Yeah, let's. The lighting was bad that way, so I'm walking backwards. Let's go home. So, do you got your phone? Do I have that? My, your phone? Yeah. I was forced to get the iPhone 15. I'm not mad at it because the camera quality is really, really nice. But um, I have no case, and I've already dropped it once. I was like, I gotta get a case. I have no case, no car your charger. Your case won't fit it. No, the, they made them a little bit uh, slimmer. Y'all saw the lights come on as you walk through the hallway. It's so fancy. You request the elevator and it tells you which elevator. Um, which, eleva which elevator letter is going to open first. It says seven floor one. It speaks to you once you get in. I feel like I'm forgetting something. This bag feels so heavy. We only took carry-ons. We only packed a day of clothes. It, well, technically two stuff. two days of clothes because I got an airport outfit. Well, a second oh, airport boy. outfit. Chris just wearing the same thing. Chris packed one one day of clothes. She said go through the back, right? Okay. This is the back, sweetie. Which way did they say go? Okay. Oh, is it this way? The shuttle? Yeah, it's this way. Waiting area. Our airport has the uh, shuttle. Oh, is that them? Is this it? Yeah. Straight off the airplane, right into carpool pickup line. We're about to get the kids. See their reaction, because they don't know. They know we're coming in today, but they don't know what time. I'm sure they didn't know we would be able to pick them up. But shout out to Vicky, because she held our spots. And Regina did too. That's our mom behind us. Um, Isla's best friend's mom. And tonight we have, Isla has gymnastics 
and then tomorrow the kids have jujitsu. She doesn't go to gymnastics per se, she goes to tumbling. Chris Ira is obsessed with jujitsu, although he does right. not listen. Well, he didn't last week a whole lot. Price? Oh, your eyes off the go? Oh. No, I like that look. It's, um... Off the go line? <laughs> You're watching Chris make a, him a Facebook status. <laughs> I always like to do a little inspirational. I get, um, I think it's pretty cool. Look at this. This is how I live. But, if you can see it. They can't. I, well, don't, first of all, never be negative. No, they can't. Hold they on. can't see it. Don't. Make it big, like that. Yeah. So this is my post. And, and this is me holding my goals and dreams and fighting right through all the negative evil, the, the hating friends, the haters, and focusing because this is my road. I own that road just like you own your road. And you never, ever... Take your eyes off that goal line. They can try to trip you. You jump it. You fight it. You may fall, but you get up. You go all the way, baby. And never, ever quit. Inspiration for today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I told you guys after my doctor's appointment, but I did do the genetic testing for cancer to make sure I don't carry the cancer gene. And then also I have to, oh, I didn't tell you that. I have to go get a mammogram early. Why? Because of that tumor that I had um, and because of history, family history, she suggested I start my mammograms early. Look, sweetie, she's just now walking yeah. out of the building to go get the, the um, car tax. It's 411. Our kids are supposed to be dismissed at 410, but this carpool, it always takes forever, which is usually why we try to get here early. So Vicky held our spot in line and she just pulled out while we pulled in. Sweetie, please don't say anything nasty. Well, let me tell you. No, sweetie, just don't. Just don't. Let it go. You, you late. You late with the joke. You didn't even hear what even I joke. said. What did yeah. I say? Put it in there quickly. No, I didn't. And pull it out. I said Vicky pulled out while we pulled in. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I, you know, we just came back from a, tri a trip and I never had that opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Chris got work done. Sweetie, you, you want to tell them what you're working on? Or it's a no, surprise? it's a surprise. Okay. Yeah, it's a surprise. But the restaurant will be opening soon. So I'll take you guys over there to show you what it looks like. Um, the golf course that we own, yeah. the field house. Um, Y'all come, come see us, man. It's going to be a great spot. Can they come without memberships? I'll make them all members. If they're friend, if they're if they follow you, you're going to be a free membership. That's going to be opening soon, before the end of this month, right? Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Before the end of this month, that'll be open. Okay, the kids are starting to roll out. It's 413. I'm so tired. My face is swollen because I was knocked out on that second flight. And then she talked to people. <laughs> she said, your hair looks so cute, curly. <laughs> is that what she said? Yeah. She's nice, though. Hello. We're just gonna show the inside of the car because I don't want to show the kids school. Yeah. So we'll get their reactions once. Oh yeah. Sweetie, raise up your window so they won't see your face. Ooh, the sun is crazy. Ah, uh, I see. Look, right. he might think he might he may think that Auntie Vicky. Look, look. No, Iris see, I, I, Iris already Ooh, see. He, <laughs> What's up? Mommy! Mommy! Oh, uh, you happy? Oh, you happy? <laughs> Mommy! Come here, my girl! Come on, my yeah. girl! Mm. I you only you. see your dad? I you saw you! I was waiting for you! Hey, y'all! 
Hey, Lola. Did you guys know we were coming to pick you up? Yes. <laughs> Did you? You knew we was coming to pick you up? I had a feeling. Hey, what what, was your, hey, what gave you, you know? that feeling? Did they tell you we were, we were coming home today? Um, uh, Auntie yeah, Vicky told them that we were coming home. Um, Auntie Vicky. And I had a feeling. Hey, Ari, put your seatbelt on. Your, your Did Auntie Vicky the... tell you that Mommy uh, brought a, 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 a pimple with her? I have bad from news. Home? <laughs> a pimple. <laughs> yeah. I thought she was going to say the other word. The word they've been talking about. Dad, I have bad news. Uh oh. Um, so someone in the purple shirt, they said, I'm going to break your sister's neck. Ooh. And what'd you say back? Um, I said, You are a turkey. Oh, okay. Wait, we got to work they on that. Said what? Yeah, you got to have a better comeback. Said, you got to have a better break, comeback I'm than that. I'm going to break your sister's neck. <laughs> no, they're not going to break my neck. You yeah, said you're going to break gonna theirs. It's going to be opposite. It's going to be opposite. I'm going to break their neck. Okay. And somebody in your class said that? No. Who said it? It it was nine. He was nine? Yes. Who was him? He. He was in my class? It was James. James is not nine. Yes, he is. He's he has a purple shirt. Okay, was but he he's not class? is he in no. your class? No. He's oh. nine. Oh. Tell him you're gonna yeah, yeah. I'm about to pow pow pow. You're you're going pow pow pow? You're gonna show him. Give him a five knuckle sandwich. Uh, a five, five knuckle sandwich. Yeah, right here. Oh. Right in the mouth. Dad, I have a secret handshake from Auntie Vicky, and I have a secret handshake from Mom and Dad. Hey, what did you see? Did you did you walk in Mom, on Auntie videoing? Vicky when she was changing huh? her clothes? Why are you videoing? To get you guys' reaction when we picked you guys up. Oh. That's did you ask doctor. Auntie Vicky what are those brown things on her? What? The brown things on her chest? Chest? Ch chest? Yeah. You said, hey, Auntie Vicky, what are those brown things? Those oh, black things? Oh, it, it like holds your, your... I can't say it. Oh, no. Your what? I can't say it. Your nipple? No. Her milkies? Oh, oh. guess what Carter said. <laughs> what? I he said... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Inappropriate. It is inappropriate. Yeah, Make you sure can't you... say that to someone. Yeah, that's very inappropriate. No, and you're not supposed to look at somebody else's milkies either. Yeah, milkies are for feeding babies, and that is it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and girls use these covers so no one can see their milkies. Yeah, did, they use uh, bras. Did right? they, did yeah. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. But boys don't use that. Right, because boys only have what? Milk. Ni uh, no, nippies. Nipples. <laughs> Nipples. Yeah, that's it. And I, and I have small ones, and I have big ones. <laughs> and huge. <laughs> and large. Okay. And, um, and yours is large. Okay. Hey, buddy. Kids. Well, tell Tim. I didn't know they were and, down. And, um, and Ella, let me text so him. I just got back. just landed back in town, so. Hey, Mom, just, someone uh, call me uh, but the you're kids not just fat, picked me so up. Who cares? So let me let me text him. Yep. Mom. Yeah. Why would you go to the doctors? I had to go to the doctors to get a my work yearly exam. You know how you go for your yearly checkup? Yeah. We have to go oh, to the doctors. What they? It never stops. What do you do? Up. But there is no baby. I know. Mom, just are you yes. never going to have a baby. Five o'clock. Um, okay. I don't know. All right. Well then. Um, you want to be there tonight? Yes. Then no. maybe I'll get Tim to come by and pick no, it up. No, they're going to cry and it's going to hurt our ears. I don't. I don't I, I a don't... baby sister or a baby brother. Yeah. No, it's going to hurt my ears. They're going to cry. Ira, but what if you're like? No, I don't want to take his man. Yeah, you can't just hear we'll we'll, we'll, we'll call him and text him. But... But mom, baby yes. Yeah, but I might have him go do down there and pick up the red check because I need to put it in. Only when the babies are around. Yeah. Okay. Only when baby, All if right, I have a baby, the Thanks. milky comes. Yes. Okay. Oh man. Chris, he asks if I have any milkies in my milky milk in my milkies. No. I tell him only if the baby is around. And he said he don't want a little baby because they'll cry and hurt his ears. I Isla said she wants a little brother. A baby brother. sister, a baby brother. Or baby brother. You got Ira. I know, but I want another one. Not saying I don't like you, Ira. Oh. I said not saying I don't like you. You told me you don't like you don't like me anymore. 
No, she did not say that. She I said, said she's did. not saying that she doesn't like you. She just wants so another one too. I like babies. They're so chubby cute. Who's gonna babysit? Me. Who's not gonna me. teach them to be potty trained? Oh, Aubrey. Aubrey said I told her uh, that no. I. Uh, Mom, mom, mom might have a baby. Why would you tell your friend that I might have a baby? <laughs> because I think you are. No, she went to the doctor. She's not. Well, still. Okay. Just in case. Oh, she's not going to have a baby when she goes to the doctor. Well, maybe one day. No, she's not. Ira, how do you know? You can, apparently, you can read the future. Mom, I need forty-five dollars. For what? For uh, next week on Tuesday. What's Tuesday? Uh, book. I mean, not book character. Uh, we get to book buy club. books. Yeah. To we get to buy stuff like books and stuff. Okay, then why do you need forty-five dollars? Cause that's how much stuff like stuff costs a lot. Like I get cause stuff costs a lot, but you're not getting forty-five dollars for a book there. No, I'm saying, can I? Get money from my piggy bank. Yeah, you can get $20. 20 Yes. Are you talking back? No. Okay. She's That's like, more than enough for a book. For hey, a few books. Hey, Mom. No, yeah. Mom. Stuff costs like already $20 by himself. 15 Well, you got a budget. You have to learn a budget. What will be within Wait, your budget? Uh, does some books cost $100? Some books cost more than 20 Mom, it's toys, right? Like, yeah. Right. Toys. So you don't need anything over no twenty dollars. <laughs> Christmas is coming up. Mom. Yes, Ira. I have great news. What's um, the great news? We're not buying toys. We're only buying books. So we get to buy Minecraft books, Roblox books, and and. I heard there's other stuff than just that. I was and car books, car books, what like car in a book? Oh, so they have more than just books. Yeah, we have a lot. Yeah, so you're gonna get twenty dollars, and then you can buy whatever you want with your twenty dollars. Me? Yeah, both you and Isla. Oh, 